Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is having a wonderful evening. So we're gonna hang out in front of my window here because I'm actually gonna talk about this book, The Woman in the Window. Now this book pulled me in. I followed along with audio and I finished it in two days. Now I'm gonna read the synopsis, but I'm gonna elaborate a little bit. So we're gonna see how the author puts it. It isn't paranoia if it's really happening. Anna Fox lives alone in her New York City home and able to venture outside. So what that means is Anna Fox has agoraphobia. Now, in the beginning of the book, it does not tell you at first what caused this agoraphobia, but we learn later that she has drama and things going on her in her life that caused her to have depression and anxiety. She spends her days drinking wine, maybe a little too much, and watching old movies, recalling happier times, and spying on her neighbors. Now throughout this movie, that's basically what she does. She's, if she's not watching out the window, she's watching older black and white movies, chasing all her meds down with her liquor, and half the time she is not even lucid. She is pretty much passed out, reciting the old movies in her mind and watching people. Now, the next part of the synopsis talks about the neighbors that move in. The neighbors' names are the Russells. So the Russells is a typical family, the mother, the father. In the book, I think this son is 15 years old or 16 years old or something like that. Now, he comes over a couple days after they move in and tells Anna, um, hey, he's, he's buzzing her door and they have cameras so she could see who's buzzing at her door and she sees this young man. And he tells her, hey, my mom told me to bring over this candle to welcome you. What do you want me to do with it? So she ends up letting him up. She ends up meeting him. And she ends up having a little bit of fascination with him. It's because she misses her family. She has an eight-year-old daughter and a husband. Now she tells him, you know, my family... Um, and I did that. We don't live together right now. My husband and I are separated. So she's pretty much sad and alone and watching out her window. Now it goes on through the story where she's watching their everyday lives and she's trying to learn about these people, but she gets a little too invested in their lives. Now her therapist is trying to get her to recover. He is trying to get her to slowly go outside, at least step outside. She, she's to the point where she won't even open up her door. So he's trying to get her to step outside, go down the stairs, at least open her door, do something. So he's trying to use this technique with her with an umbrella where she opens the umbrella, gets under the umbrella and she she counts to five to try to calm her down, but the umbrella is shielding her so she doesn't see the outside world. She doesn't see the open space. What she tries to do that one day, and she ends up having a panic attack, and she ends up passing out. Well, when she comes to, there's this lady that's in her house, and, you know, she's trying to see if she's okay and everything, and, when she wakes up, she in a, she introduces herself as Anna, and Anna asks her, "Oh, are you Miss Russell from across the street?" Well, the lady starts telling her about her son and her husband. Um, starts telling about the husband because the husband is controlling. So sometimes she may see them argue. She might see him shouting. Whatever. So she actually starts spending a few hours with Miss Russell, getting to know her. 
Well, the story goes on and she's watching out the window one day and she sees Miss Russell in her house with her husband and she hears a scream and she goes to the window and she looks and she sees something shiny and sharp sticking out of her. And so she starts panicking and she's calling 911, trying to get help because she believes she's stabbed and she's murdered. Well, she calls 911, the police come to try to calm her down. They bring over the Russells to show that they're okay. Well, in walks Miss Russell. The police said, look, this is Miss Russell, everybody's fine. The husband introduces, the, here's my wife, she's fine. Well, when Anna looks up and looks at the lady, that's not the same lady she saw. So she's like, no, that's not your wife. That's not the lady that I spent four or five hours with. That's not Miss Russell. So everybody's telling her, this is my wife. This is Miss Russell. Who did you see? There's no other lady. So basically in this thriller, we're getting caught up with her. So the gist of it, we're trying to figure out who this other lady is who the real Miss Russell is, what's going on with this family, who got killed. It's a bunch of twists and turns. I'm not gonna do spoilers about what happened, but let me tell you what you think happened, what we know happened, no, 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 totally different. I was absolutely shocked with the outcome of this because, let's see, how can I say this without spoiling it? There are, okay, let's put it this way. There are a few secrets, probably like four or five secrets in this book. If you've read it, you already know what I'm talking about, but I'm not gonna spoil it, you have to read it. Now, after I read this, I was so excited because I was like, oh my God, that is so great. That is the best, oh, I can't wait to see the movie. So after this, I went straight into the movie Okay, in my opinion, read the book. Skip the movie. The movie was okay, but they changed so many things in the movie that it actually made me disappointed because now you're following along in your head, okay, I remember this part in the book. I know what's gonna happen next and then it's something totally different and I'm like, wait a minute, no, 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 no. In the book, this happened. Um, if you're not a reader, go ahead and watch the movie. You won't be disappointed because you won't know the truth. <laughs> I put it that way, you won't know the truth. But if you're a reader, most definitely read the book, skip the movie. So if you read this, let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to know what you think. Um, I know I do know this book is four years old, but I am just one of those people. I don't read books as they come out and I don't watch any of the reviews and all the hypes because I like to be blind when I go into a book because this is the thrill that I get. I love this. I would give this a five star. So if you have read this, let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. If you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate your time that you're spending with me. I hope everybody is being safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.